everyone my name is Emily welcome to or welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to make aesthetic stickers that you can use to decorate your laptop case your phone case your water bottle or whatever else you want to decorate I'm going to be using a method that I found from Chloe Renee I'm pretty sure that's what her name is I will link her channel down in the description so go check out her channel the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up Google and you're gonna type in Redbubble stickers and look under Google images and you're just gonna look through all of these until you find one that you like and once you find one you're going to right click and hit copy and then open up a Google Docs or a Word document and you're gonna paste it in there by right clicking and hitting paste then you can resize it to however you want and how big you want it and you can also use the ruler feature on there to get the actual measurements of the sticker after that you're going to want to print out your stickers and make sure that you're printing in color unless you want your stickers to print out in black and white. Once your stickers are all printed out, you're gonna want to get some scissors to cut them. I cut mine around the white border and I cut off the shadowed looking part because I didn't like how it looked, but it's all about what your preference is. You can cut them however you would like. This was a little bit time consuming, but if you put on like a Netflix show or watch some YouTube or listen to music, it makes the time go by faster. Together we were wishing Cause now I'm living in the city And you're back home And all I'm doing is I'm singing Yes, I'm singing Oh, I don't feel how I used to Anymore, anymore I don't hear from you like I used to Anymore, anymore Let's run it back and kick it like we used to Or call me back and tell me something new once your stickers are all cut out, you're going to need some parchment paper, either clear duct tape or packing tape and scissors. You're going to want to rip off a piece of parchment paper and lay it down. Mine kept rolling up on the corners, so I had to put like objects on the corners like the scissors and my phone. And I think like my AirPods case, that way that it wouldn't roll up. But once you start putting the tape on, it doesn't roll up as much anymore. Next, you're gonna want to rip off a piece of tape long enough to cover the length of the parchment paper and stick it down and try to make sure there's no bubbles. That way the stickers are flat and don't have bubbles underneath them. Next, place the stickers onto the tape. And then after you do that, you're gonna want to place another layer of tape onto the stickers. So there should be a layer of tape underneath the sticker and over top of the sticker. And then just repeat this process for the rest of the stickers. You can do either a row of stickers at a time like I did, or you could do one sticker at a time if that is easier for you. I did find that when I did a row of stickers, sometimes they would move when you were trying to place the long piece of tape over top of it. I completely forgot to explain that if you want to make a bigger sticker, all you have to do is use two pieces of tape and just make it like a larger base and then just put two pieces of tape on top and just follow the same exact process except for you're laying two pieces of tape next to each other. Once the stickers are all taped down, it is time to cut them out. So you wanna grab your scissors and cut like a box around the sticker and then once you're Cutting closer to the sticker, you wanna leave a border of the parchment paper and tape. That way the sticker will stick onto whatever you're putting it on better. If you don't leave this border, the sticker doesn't stick as well, if that makes sense, cause there's just less tape holding everything together. And then continue to do this for the rest of your stickers until they are all cut out to your liking. Once your stickers are all cut out, they are ready to use. I decided to put mine on my MacBook and I just laid them all out to make sure they all would fit. And then when you're ready to use the sticker, all you have to do is 
peel off the parchment paper just as you would a normal sticker, like you're peeling off the backing, and then just stick it on and press it down to try to get any bubbles out. And just continue this process for all the stickers until you get them all on the way that you want them. It's super hard to record what this looks like without it having a reflection. This is how mine turned out after I got all the stickers on. I just put a clear case over top just so that you could still see them and then it would also protect the stickers. I really like how it turned out and this is a very affordable way to make these aesthetic like red bubble stickers that a lot of people are making or buying. I know it was a trend to make them like a year ago, but I'm late to the trend, whatever. But I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you decide to make these stickers, let me know down in the comments and let me know how you like them. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.